Turkey Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the citrus drop again. All right, guys, this is just going to be a little video here talking about challenges. Um, I'm not sure if anybody has noticed this. I know there's certain people out there in the uh, in the communities that I'm a part of that know about this, but in case you're you're, you're new or I have never seen this before or just wondering what's going on. Um, I've been getting, uh, I've been participating in some of the challenges through the flight test forum. Um, now, uh, some of these challenges include the mini scout, uh, newbie challenge, as well as the builduary challenge. And, um, I'm just going to kind of briefly just go over those a little bit with you guys and just kind of, just kind of let you all know what, uh, what these are about and, uh, uh, where to check them out and stuff. So, uh, first off the mini scout newbie challenge, um, that was a challenge that was created by some members on the forum. And, um, basically it is to, um, you know, for someone who's brand new to the FT mini scout, you know, no, you know, somebody who has never flown it before, doesn't have any, doesn't have any experience with it or anything. Uh, basically, the goal is to build the mini scout, uh, share your experiences with it, and fly the plane three times, filming it. You know, each time that you uh, take it up for a flight, and basically see among the the other members there who participated, see who can get the longest flight time out of the FT mini scout. So that's the FT Mini Scout Newbie Challenge. Uh, and as of this video, I still have my third flight to go through with. Um, I've already done the uh, the first two. Uh, one, of course, was a very short... Uh, first one was first one was actually a very short, uh, I think... Uh, I don't remember what it was. Uh, five or six second... Five or six second flight or something. It was really it was really small. Uh, second, second one, of course, went, went, went a little bit longer. So... But still got to do my third uh, newbie or third mini scout newbie challenge flight, so that is still in the works. And now let's go on to the builduary challenge. Now, um, with the wording there, builduary, it kind of looks kind of like February. So um, just now, kind of getting videos for this one out there. But um, the objective of builduary was in the month of February to build. And, and we'll just basically see how far you could go. Build, uh, you know, basically four uh, airplanes. Uh, these could be flight test designs, or these could be even original designs, or even just repairing something that's old that you just wanted to fix up. You know, it doesn't really matter what it is, just as long as it's, you know, something that you can focus on. And, and kind of the thing was basically uh, one plane per week for, you know, for the four weeks uh, of the month there. Um, so that was kind of the whole objective of the build your challenge. And, um, you know, basically, um, you know, what, what you get from that, of course, is, or, 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 or more or less what, what you do is you, you not only, you know, build these planes during the, during this time, uh, you also share the experiences, uh, and, you know, of course you, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll be awarded, um, they kind of create like a little contest with points and stuff like that. So points for, you know, sharing pictures, points for, you know, updates, points for, uh, your, your building skill, um, points for, um, even more bonus points if you were able to get a maiden flight of the plane. So, um, that was the whole point of that challenge was to basically just get you, you know, in, in, in your shop, in your work area and just build, build, build as many of these airplanes as you possibly could and share your experiences with the forum. So that was the whole purpose of the build your challenge. Um, and so, like I said, I'm just now kind of getting around to starting to get the videos and things like that uploaded for the Build Your Berry Challenge and starting to share my progress. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I can tell you this much, um, I wasn't dead last in the, in the challenge um, as they've already went ahead, as the, you know, the challenge has, of course, already passed. But uh, I wasn't dead last, but, uh, um, you know, I was kind of down towards the bottom. Uh, I did have some holdups there. I didn't really get started into the challenge until late. Uh, my electronics have all not fully come in yet as I'm still waiting on a few electronics to come in. Um, and I was also honestly hit with a little bout of the flu towards the end. So, um, 
the world was against me to actually try to finish this challenge, but I'm still sharing the experience with you guys here on YouTube. And, um, and, and more or less, like I said, just, just sharing this with you guys so you can see what the uh, flight test form has to offer and, and hopefully get some people over there and checking it out. Uh, the challenges is something I've recently discovered. And um, I really uh, you know, encourage you people that if you're not, um, you know, especially after you've kind of been doing flight test stuff for a little while, I encourage everybody to go out and go and check the, uh, the user challenges part of the form out because there really is some just fun stuff on there. Uh, I know as of, as of right now, there's also a challenge for, um, getting crazy with the FT tiny trainer. I think there's even a challenge for flying in the rain or something like that. So, um, you know, some really, really fun, cool stuff that you all, um, that I, that I highly recommend you guys to check out. Um, if you're involved in the community or just want to, um, or, or starting to get into flight tests and everything, a lot of fun, fun stuff over there. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys to let you know, um, what all this, what all this stuff is, has been going on here on the channel. So you all know what's going on. Uh, and also really to encourage you all to, to go check it out. Um, and, uh, and get involved and, and do some fun and crazy things and share and share with people. So, you know, I think, I think it'd be a, a great thing for the community and for, you know, for the hobby and everything too. So, but anyways, that is all from me. Um, I do want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.